get it. It's an entire theme. Yes. It's it's a part of domination. Yeah. Yeah. Have you read Fifty Shades, Julie? Rabbit of Moon. Sorry, to go back to your answer, to your to your question. Oh yes. Okay. It's like when he gives her the balls and tells her to wear them around all day. It's like that. It's knowing that you have a little bit of control over someone. Wait, that's a thing? Yes, it's a thing. Have you ever seen it's a little it's a little box and they're two little balls and they and they jingle when you when you hold like when you when you move them around. It's not my jam. I prefer fantasy romance, not Twilight, the real shit. <laughs> I guess. So yeah, uh, why can't I remember what they're called? Someone remind me what they're called, you guys. And she knows he can't tell if she takes them out, but she keeps them in, uh, in to obey him. Yes. Oh, I know. I only experienced that. I experienced one that was really a bit too tall for my torso on the sides as the part of the boudoir shoot I did. And even though I didn't have it on long, my sides were still a bit sore the next day as right at, right at top. Yeah. I went on a boyfriend. You who dominates Ben Wobbles. Thank you. Ben Wobbles. It's, it's a, it's a whole thing. Like, you don't have to be into, like, the full shebang of things to, like, do stuff like that. If they try that, I would turn the shit around or tell them to fuck off. I mean, Callie, <laughs> you're still young, hon. <laughs> you're still young. Not to say that it, you know, not to say you do you. I know, you do you. You right? Right. It is. It's definitely, it's definitely one of those things. It's definitely one of those things. I keep, I keep doing this out of frame. Oh, let me get my chair closer. But like, you can't tell me. Safe, sane, and consensual is the key in BDSM. Yes. Wait, Rabbit Moon, did we just fly, did we just gloss over the fact that you did a boudoir show, shoot and I uh I I totally glossed over this? Yeah. My first read into was Anne Rice Sleeping Beauty trilogy. It was I was way too young. <laughs> I mean, you didn't know. You didn't know. I'm still kind of innocent too, not child innocent. I know. I get it. I I can read between the lines on what you're saying. Exactly. Like even with 50 shades, like there there are some times where am I talking too much into my life right now? Anyways, <laughs> there are times where like he gets a little too intense with it, but that's only because he doesn't necessarily he doesn't necessarily know how to like keep himself under control. Yeah. My aunt gave me a box of romance novels when I was 10. My mom was so mad. I don't blame her. I don't blame her. Yeah, I did it a couple months ago. Had fun overall, was smart enough to wait to have wine till it was time to choose picks for the album. That's a good idea. Bard girl. <laughs> she just brings a fire up into my chat today. Oh my lord, you guys. <laughs> but yeah, like it sometimes it's just about the right person. Like, you welcome, babe. Thank you. I appreciate. <laughs> Like, sometimes it's just about the right person. One person might not be able to bring that out in you, but another person might. You never know. You never know. Experience shit. Experience it. 